Miss Nancy said I should use the microphone. <laughs> so, did you guys all have a snow day this week? Everybody have some snow time at home in the snow? Okay. And what was Friday? Brooke? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, okay. Guys, what, what is this? A heart. Exactly, a heart. And Valentine's Day, hearts? Does that make sense? Hearts for Valentine's Day? So, how did you celebrate Valentine's Day? Brookie? I went out to dinner. You went out to dinner? What did you do for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? What did you do for Valentine's Day? Well, do you know why we celebrate Valentine's Day with hearts? What do hearts mean? That's it. Hearts mean love. Okay. Did you know that love is the heart of the Christian lifestyle? Did you know God wants us to celebrate by loving everybody? Even those people that we sometimes don't really want to love, some people that aren't really lovable. God wants us to love everybody. As I said, even those that are hard to love. So, did you all send out any Valentine's cards or make any Valentine's hearts in school? Did you make some in school? Did you have a party in school? Some are shaking their heads. Yes, boy, everybody's quiet this morning. Is it the snow or is it me? <laughs> so quiet. Okay. So you had, you, you did have a Valentine's party. Did you know where the original Valentine came from? Who do you suppose gave us the original Valentine? God gave us, you're really smart this morning. God gave us the original Valentine. And did you know that all throughout his word, if, when we get to learn his word and read his word, there are many, many, many valentines. I need a couple of volunteers here that might be able to maybe read us one of these valentines that God gave us. Okay, let's see. You don't want to read one. All right. Who else can read that wants to read one of these? Any other one? Josh and Jackson. Oops. That's one more. There's one more there that somebody can read. And I'm going to take this microphone up and pass it around so these boys and girls can tell you some of the Valentines that God had for us in our heart. Okay, Ava, do you want to start? And now, abide in faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Very good. Okay, very good. And from 1 Corinthians. Very good, Ava. Thank you. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Brooke. Very good. Okay. Let's see, John. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. Beloved, if God so loved us, we are also to love one another. Very good. Thank you, Josh. And Jackson, one last one. A friend loveth at all times. All right. You suppose those are the only love messages that God gave us in the Bible? Are they the only ones? No. When you read your Bible, boys and girls, you feel full of love and you get lots of messages that God gave us. The original Valentine. So it's fun to get hearts and chocolate and flowers and presents for Valentine's Day. But just remember that God gave us the original Valentine and taught us how to love one another, okay? Can we pray before we go to the Children's Church? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for these boys and girls, and we thank you that you have taught us how to love and given the original love in our hearts for Valentine's Day. In your name we pray, amen. amen.